A Su-25 fighter plane belonging to the occupying Russian army was destroyed near the city of Konstantinovka, Donetsk region. The images taken by the Ukrainian military were spread on telegram channels. A fire broke out in the area where the remains of the plane fell. According to some possibilities, the plane could have been shot down by the Russian air defense system. The fate of the crew members is not reported. This plane is close support and ground attack aircraft. In service since 1984. Designed specifically for close air support missions. From first flight in 1975 to first Su-25 unit were operational in 1984 a number of modifications were done. The Su-25 features titanium cockpit armoring and wingtip pod airbakes. Built in many versions, Su-25K export version, Su-25UB and export Su-25UBK two-seats version, Su-28 advanced trainer and Su-39 anti-tank version with new NAV system and laser range finger in the nose. Used by Russia and many East European air forces. Пидорский самолетик, пидорский. Долетал из пидорасы, блядь. Да ты едешь. Бля, не успел. А остальные это? Да это, бля, наверное, этот. А вот все. А это вот все. Ого, вот она сейчас. А вот я все. Вот же другая часть уже. Да, не было не так, и так бы сейчас поехал на место падения. Да это... On August the 6th, Ukrainian forces invaded Russia's Kursk region, capturing hundreds of miles of territory, but Ukraine is paying for the invasion by surrendering cities in the east and destroying its most precious equipment. As Forbes analyst David Axe writes, the 21st Mechanized Brigade is taking part in the offensive in the Kursk region, which has the most advanced and best Western tanks in its arsenal. STRV-122 stroke Leopard 2A6 these two types differ mainly in the length of the main guns, and according to videos from social networks, one of these tanks was shot down by a drone or hit a mine during a battle near the village of Vesyaloy. The analyst emphasizes that each STRV-122 and Leopard 2A6 is precious, as Ukraine received only 10 STRV-122s from Sweden and 21 Leopard 2A6 from Germany and Portugal, all in 2023. By the spring, about 20 of these tanks remained. All of them belonged to the 21st Mechanized Brigade, and it is unlikely to expect new deliveries. While the Ukrainian Army's other Leopard 2 brigades, the 33rd and 155th Mechanized Brigades, operate older and more numerous Leopard 2A4 models and have received several batches of the new tanks to replace battlefield losses, the 21st Mechanized Brigade, with its newer tank models, is unlikely to receive any new vehicles. As Axe notes, the Swedish and German armies are struggling to maintain their own tank brigades, neither plans to part with their best tanks anymore. At the same time, the analyst notes, there is evidence that the 21st Mechanized Brigade has already lost at least one tank in the Kursk region, which burned after being hit by an explosive FPV drone. The Ukrainian commanders are willing to risk their last STRV-122s and Leopard 2A6s in Kursk, speaks to the importance they attach to the Ukrainian invasion of the region. The invasion effort is costing the Ukrainians vulnerable cities and vital transport assets. For now, that is a price they are willing to pay. The analyst concludes, 